Hello guys, welcome back. So in the previous tutorial, we created a connected app and with the help of connected app, we got consumer key and the secret. Now the next step that we need to do is we need to make the connection between our postman and our Salesforce org through the username password flow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, first thing is we'll go over to Postman. So I have an account with Postman. If you don't, you can sign up and it's completely free. And uh, if you already have Postman, then you just sign in, okay? The first thing I will do is I'll select my workspace and here I'm going to import a Postman collection. I've already added the collection in the resources, so make sure you access those. We're gonna go ahead and click on import and uh, select the files. And the collection that I'm importing is Data Cloud Course Collection is there. And the first step that we are doing is we are trying to make the connection between postman and the salesforce using the pass username password flow so this is to get the token if you go over to the body you have to provide the grant type we are keeping the grant type as password replace the client id with your client id not the one that i'm using you have to replace your client secret your username and your password so my client id i've already saved it so i'm going to go ahead and copy the client id here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and make sure there are no spaces and we will go ahead and put it similarly i'm going to you copy this client secret so i'm going to go ahead and copy it and i will paste it over here so that is the client secret next is the username this is the username for the org so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the username and the password is correct. Let's go ahead and hit send. Okay, now it is giving us a invalid grant authentication failure error. Let's understand why we are getting this error. So we'll go back to the uh, user details here. So we'll go to the settings and we'll go to the advanced user details and here we will go to the login history okay so we'll click on login history and it is telling you over here that the username password flow is disabled and that's why it's not able to connect so in order to enable it we'll go ahead to the setup and uh, in the quick find we will look for oauth settings okay so it should be oauth oauth and open id connect settings so we'll go ahead and click on that and through here, we will enable the username password flow. If you're getting the same error as me, the grant type is invalid, make sure your username password flow is enabled. And now if you go back to Postman, we are going to send it again. And this time I'm expecting a access token. Okay, so now what we are able to go is we are able to log into this instance URL and this is our access token. Okay, so now we have made the connection to the Salesforce. The next step here is to make the connection to the data cloud. So the step number two is get the data cloud access token. And how do we get there? So the first thing we need to do is we need to replace the URL that we see with this URL that you got. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and copy this, control C and put it over here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace it and it should be slash services slash a360 slash token. And if you go to the body, grant type here is set to this. This is hard coded, so you don't have to worry. This is how you get access to the data cloud. And the token, we need to get it from here. So whatever the token you got, you replace it with the, the this is the token I got so I'm going to go ahead and go here and replace the access token and your subject token type it is also going to be fixed and you're going to use same exact text here okay so grant type and subject to token is this that we are going to use and this is your access token now once you click send this should give me the access token to log into the data cloud Okay, so here the request is successful and this is the access token. And if you see the instance URL, instance URL is this. And this instance URL basically is the same URL 
that is available in the data cloud setup. So if you go here in the data cloud setup, your endpoint, the data cloud org endpoint is the same that you got from here. So one second, and you can see here, it exactly matches the tenant endpoint. Okay, so now we are able to get access to this data cloud, and this is our access token. Now we are going to copy this access token and then we are going to make a call using this ingestion API and the login is this. The test ingestion is the name. Make sure your ingestion name, the whatever the name you have given in here, that is the name you have to provide over there. So ingestion API. So what is the name of your connection here? It is test ingestion there's no one we have added so we're going to go ahead and use the same the, the ob object name is performance underscore summary and you have to replace this url with this url so your data cloud instance url so i'm going to go ahead and copy and replace it over here and we will paste it and then the other thing you need to do is you need to replace the access token also. So you got the access token. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and we will go all the way till here. Copy, do not include double quotes and then we'll go here and replace the access token that you have over here. Okay, and in the body, if you see here, this is what we are inserting. We're inserting a panel ID this is the daily cuff we are inserting and this is the date time we are inserting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit send and you should get a 200. We got it, accepted true. Now this data might not be available immediately inside of your data cloud. It might take about 15 to 20 minutes to see the data. So in order for you to see the data, you can actually go back to your data cloud and we will go over to the query editor. So here I'll go to the data cloud and uh, we'll do a query, we'll use the query editor. So I'm gonna go to the query editor here. And uh, what is the object I'm interested in? In the performance summary, right? So this is the object. I'm gonna create the query and hit run query again right now it doesn't have anything give it 15 minutes and you will see the data populated over here so let me recap the steps that we did so the step number one here and uh, the step number one was to get salesforce access token so in order to get salesforce access token this is the endpoint we used and in the body we provided the grant type, client ID, client secret, username, and password. Make sure you're replacing the client ID with your client ID, your client secret, your username, and your password, okay? Similarly, once we have made this call, it gave us the login to the Salesforce and also the access token. Using this, we made another call, and this is the call slash services A360 slash token. So this is the call to get access token for your data cloud org. So you and in the uh, body, we provided the access token that we got from previously. The grant type is fixed and subject token type is also fixed. These are hard coded value, just uses as it is. And then we made the call. This is a post call again. We got the access token and then the URL in the, the tenant endpoint we got. Using this tenant endpoint and the access token, we are calling the ingestion API, test ingestion, what is the name? And inside of this, we are calling the performance summary. Okay, and this is what we have inserted so far. Now, if you want to add another record, you can add, you provide another value here. Let's say this is 100, uh, you wanna change the date. Uh, you can make it 31st and hit is send again. This should create another record. Okay, so should you should see about two records in your performance summary data lake object after about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so grab a cup of coffee and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.